sometimes you have a lot of confidence and sometimes it's, it's maybe too much confidence. Is there a fine line between you know, trying to extra energy? I mean, what's kind of, do, do you know what he's talking about? In a way, I, I, I'm going to comment on what I think okay. he is referring to because, you know, sometimes, uh, like anybody, sure. know, we may be on different wavelengths. Uh, for Coach Madison's perspective, uh, yeah, I, I could be a little overconfident sometimes. Uh, sometimes what comes with that is, you know, I think I know maybe my pass rush is better or um, the way to, to handle a certain situation. And, you know, I, even though I might do it that time, like he knows ultimately uh, maybe it gets better, better opponents. Uh, it might not work. So it's just like anything, it just takes a little bit of trust. And I, I trust Coach Madison. So um, it's a learning process, one day at a time. Ultimately, everything will come together. That fuels you, though. That confidence has made you kind of into the player you are. Yeah. It has to. It, you have to be confident in everything you do. Uh, there's a great quote by uh, Conor McGregor, you know, humble, humble victory, humble in defeat. Uh, but, you know, confident in everything you do. So it's just, I go out there and well, there's no reason that I, I shouldn't win a base block or I shouldn't win a pass rush. So it's, it's the same thing. Uh, yeah, that's it. Having started out at linebacker and then played tight end H-back, how much does it help you now to actually be doing the same thing two years in a row, building off what you've done? Uh, it's helped me a lot. It's helped me be able to uh, really focus on a like my my bodily growth and uh, practicing in the off season for that specific function, you know, of a, of a defensive end. But also, it's helped me in a, a more of a leadership role uh, with all like our seniors who, who left such a great impression uh, on us youngins. Uh, as they left, you know, it, it, it kind of gave me a position, you know, already playing that position, not having to transfer over, where, like, I've been here before. I've gone against, the, you know, the best Big Ten or Big Ten offensive linemen that are in, are in the country, some of which are going to get drafted. And so we're ready to go. Um, and, and that, you know, that multiple – Multiple years playing that position has helped me a lot. And that, you're not a youngin anymore. Now. I'm not a youngin. You're not yeah, a youngin exactly. anymore. You, exactly. Uh, how, how important is it so yourself, uh, Mo, and, and uh, Brian are going to be this year? Take care. I mean, indispensable. Uh, that's. I think that's why he's got us wearing knee braces now. Uh, <laughs> I think he kind of recognizes the fact um, that it, we are important to this team and. Um, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, we're, I don't want to like over overstate how you know his confidence or his belief that we're you know something special. But um, I think that uh, we are a valuable asset to this team. And, uh, that's yeah. That's yet to be decided or yet to be shown. We got to present on the field next year. Does it have to be more than just what's on the field? But you guys have to be kind of those leaders off the field as well. I mean, what that's a football player for you. Yeah. Just look at some of the stuff that's been transpiring all over the country. You know, the past couple months, I can name a dozen incidents of, of football players messing up. Every little thing we do is scrutinized. Uh, it's just the, like the name of the game, and that's just the position that we're in. So uh, we got to be complete football players and complete people on and off the field. Physically, have you changed since last season? Are you bigger, stronger? Yeah, I've changed a lot. I, it might be the uh, the protein powder with the water, <laughs> the cruddy protein juice. powder. The notorious Irish juice from uh, Fergus, our, uh, <laughs> our sports scientist. But uh, I think I was, you know, I was around maybe a 242, 243 last year. And uh, going into the off season, you know, that, that was one of my main focuses to, was to put on uh, strength, but also get faster, like like everybody in the country uh, wants to do. But I made a, a goal that I was going to do it better than them. So. I got up to 255, and I and I was competing with the linemen for uh, doing the conditioning drills, but they felt a little more competition was necessary, so they moved me to the linebackers and had me compete with them. So I, I think if you ask them, I gave them some work too. Uh, so I, I feel like I'm, I'm moving better than I've ever been. I feel stronger than I've ever been, and I feel more knowledgeable about football than I've ever been. So I, I yeah, I'm where I want to be and uh, right now, but. As I move forward, I want to get stronger and faster. It's always and smarter.
bunch of soft-spoken guys on the D-line other than yourself. Probably you feel like you have to be a, a voice in the, the meeting room that kind of thing, speak up a lot. I think they might be a little shy, but <laughs> they're <laughs> of you guys. But I think they're, uh, they're plenty confident in their abilities. There's no – don't confuse the shyness that they might present with the lack of confidence. I th we know what we can do. Um, and, you know, last year I said going into it, our plan was to be the number one defensive line in the country and ultimately, ultimately the number one defense. It's the same thing this year. I, I don't, see, uh, don't see why we can't do that. I think this year, in fact, we might have a chip on our back. Lo losing three out of the four last games uh, still leaves a, a, just a terrible taste in my mouth. And as Coach Harbaugh says, uh, the only way to get that taste out of your mouth uh, you know, to solve your problems with aggression and uh, and to win football games. So that's what it is. Knee braces don't slow you down at all. Don't get me started on knee braces. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Last fall, when in your first camp at that spot, how much more confidence? I know you talked about the confidence, but what, did you? Is this where you envisioned envisioned you would be? You know, in terms of progress. Yeah, just where you're at, you know, the development, what you did last year, everything. Uh, it's like anything. Um, it's sometimes so gradual that you don't really, you know, you're, there's a word for it. We learned about it in one of my science classes, but um, it's like when you're driving and you're on the road and uh, going from, you know, Michigan, Ann Arbor to Toledo when I'm visiting my brother's house. It goes from 70, I think, to 65, and it's like a casual shift. So, like, sometimes, like, you might have a, uh, you know, a vision in your mind. Uh, it, it might shift a little bit, you know, you as you add weight or um, – you know, as your, your body reacts. But I, I feel, yeah, like I, like I said, I feel, um, I feel very great where I'm at right now. And what it is, it is what it is. You know, I can't, I can't change it. So. What was that vision at the beginning of last year? Uh, it's very simple. I mean, it's just be, be stronger, faster, and smarter than uh, the offensive lineman. It's very similar to the uh, – as a lion wakes up in Africa, he's got to be faster than the slowest gazelle. It's the same thing. I gotta, um, I gotta outwork them and outwork my competition. This is your third spring under Jim Harbaugh practice. What was the shock of that first spring like? How'd you prepare yourself the next two springs? Four-hour practices. It's weird. Like uh, sometimes I feel like bodily and mentally, uh, I'm more adapted mm -hmm. to a Coach Harbaugh practice. Like I noticed some of the uh, the young guys. You know, might be more of a, a shock to them, and I've kind of I've kind of learned to accept what it is. Uh, but you know, the, the knee braces haven't helped uh, with with running and stuff. So it's just every every little bit of this journey that I'm on. Uh, it's, there's always something new, it's, and that's what's cool about it. So one yeah. or two more for Chase, please. Who are some of the players behind you at the the weak side end spot that are doing well? We're not supposed to name specifics, but I mean, to be honest, like, <laughs> uh, uh, but to be honest, like, we're all doing really well. Like, everyone's working, and like, uh, I wouldn't be be doing someone a justice because uh, to, to single out a few names when every single person's uh, working just as hard. And uh, well, I don't want to say that a lot of people are working really hard. Some maybe a little less, but uh, we're out there and we're we're competing every day. So. And we're getting better too. And it's cool to see like uh, that shape in our identity uh, slowly being formed as as more and more practices go on.